be the ninth match on with former world uh, championship bronze medalist Ashwini Ponapa and Siki Reddy. They were given a walkover in their match, which means that we have the pleasure of a bonus match, which is men's doubles. Arjun and Schlock of India against Kuzni and Shalava of Switzerland. So the home fans will be absolutely delighted to, uh, to see this. And when we look at the draw, we can see that in this section of the draw, we have the 2017 world champions, Lu Cheng and Zhang Nan, who have dashed here from Japan. Zhang Nan won in Japan with his new partner. And they've dashed here to Basel. And the winner of the match that we are about to watch will play against the former world champions tomorrow. So just listen to the fans. Absolute delight that the home players are coming on to court. Oliver Schlala. And Tobias Kunzi. There they are. So our court officials for this one from Mauritius and from the United States of America. Okay, Mr. Slint, red or black, what's your call? First meeting between the two pairs. Receiving it, who's receiving? Arjun is receiving, serving on So Arjun and Schlock have decided that they want to receive. So, as far as the Swiss pair are concerned, they've only played two competitions this year, both of them team competitions. As we look at Arjun Mahatu Ramachandran, who to give him his full name, 22 years of age, from Kochi, which is the Kerala region on the southwest coast of India. 168, that's five foot six, just under. And he's one of the few players in World Badminton nowadays who's won a doubles double. Did that last year in the Hallas International Series event. His partner is much taller, Ramchandran Schlock, 24 years of age, born in Mumbai. And you can see that their highest ranking, 32 currently at 50. I say he's taller, he's six foot two and a half if uh, you like it in the old form rather than in meters. They've been in a couple of tournament finals this year, have the Indian pair. They won the Ghana International Series and then were beaten in the final of the Lagos International Challenger event. Oliver Charlotte is 25 years of age and he was also in the mixed doubles discipline here with Celine Burkhardt. But he and his partner had a wild card entry into the men's doubles, which the host nation always received the opportunity of a wild card and it's wonderful that this uh, pair Tobias Kuzni, Kuzni the younger of the two men as we look at Philip Ayangchi from the United States and our service judge Sutiawan Amahadu from Mauritius so, Morton, I'm looking at the results of this pair. Two team events that they've played in, but they haven't played in the last 12 months any 
individual competitions together, the Swiss combination? Yeah, it's, it's going to be very, very difficult for them in, in this match, but uh, all credit to the fact that they take up the challenge and uh, use the wild cards and, and play in, in this match. I, I think Ladies that's very commendable. But it's, it's going to be quite difficult because the Indian pair is actually quite good India. internationally. They are a good pair. Yeah. And on my left, I can remember Kinsey, watching them at the Thomas Cup. Switzerland. Yeah, they have been used. Yeah, in Bangkok. <laughs> no doubt who the fans are supporting. <laughs> That's the way it should be. Yeah. that both of the Indian players have actually won a doubles double. Ramtradan Schlock won the doubles doubles at this year's Ghana International Series. Mixed doubles with Manisha. Oh, that's nice. Really good start by the uh, pair from Switzerland. Yeah, that found the mid court area very nicely. Good play by Quincy. I like the fact that he's proactive and really go in and try to, to block everything at the net there. That's really nice. Five, two. Oh, this is a perfect start by the home players. Yeah. Kunsi is pointing. Three. Next time I play it down the line, and I think he's correct on that one because going flat cross court to such a tall player is probably not the best idea. That is delightful. What a lovely drop shot. Yeah, second time here from Shala. That straight drop shot creating a point. Good work at the front of the court from Arjun. just had a very short glimpse of uh, the coach from Switzerland, which is a former German player, Michael, Michael Fuchs. Fuchs. Yeah. Very good doubles and mixed doubles player in his days. Did not stop that many years ago. No. Three, four years ago, perhaps. Yeah. Service over five, Very seven. intelligent man as well. Yeah, good Did degree. It, yeah. It, did a doc doctorate, didn't he? He did. Physical something. Yeah. Physical I think it education. was about sleep deprivation or something. Perhaps that as well. Yeah. Recovery in sports. Oh. 
But it's interesting Seven, to see four, that the six. engine combination, they, they feel the pressure in the sense that they, they feel they need to perform. So they're so eager to get the attack and really go for it. But sometimes they are taking chances and making the wrong decisions. And that's why they're down 8-6 at the moment, now 8-7. So they need to settle down, they need to settle their nerves and get into it. That's a good flex serve. Well after. Yeah. Goodness, what sort of serve was that? No. It wasn't really a drive serve, but it was it was sort of a very fast low serve. <laughs> fast low serve. <laughs> it was. It's That's a new description. New description, there we go. Set a trend. Yes. Well, I also think that the fans in the stadium has come alive because uh, the women's singles from Switzerland is play playing on court. Number two, the adjacent court to this court one. Sabrina Shaquet. Advantage at We've only had six minutes, and this next rally will decide who has the advantage. Yeah. Good serving is the key. Good block shot there by Shala. Indeed, it is the Swiss pair who have the advantage. Shala, of course, had the advantage of playing yesterday, I think, in the mixed doubles, didn't they? play the mixed doubles, yes. Yeah. They did not win it, but uh, the mere fact that you've been on court helps a lot. to settle down in, in the match here, the tall Indian player. But here, I think maybe that can settle his nerves as well. That was a good smash. Oh, that's a beauty. That is really, really well played by Arjun. That shot directed into the mid-court area was very nicely played. And another one, the drive down the line 13, once again, Arjun. 12. It's definitely into it now. Can his partner settle in as well? Oh, that's a good serve.
And again. Five of the six points since the mid-game interval to the Indian combination. Really well played by Arjun. Look at this one. That's it. Completely wrong footing his <laughs> his opponent there. Wrong footed me. I almost <laughs> fell off my chair here. The Swiss combination really have to direct their attacks and shots towards uh, the taller player from India, Schlock, before 18, he settles in 13. completely in this match. See if they can utilise the fact that he's perhaps a little bit nervous. away from the opening game now. Indian combination of Arjun and Schlock. That's wide. 20, game point opportunities. In the second half of the game, the Indian pair have really run away with this. Yeah, first time of asking and the opening game, 21-14 in just 12 minutes. Exakt so ist es. Exakt so ist es. Wichtig steil vor hart. Genau so ist es. Und äh, nochmal die Annahme: In Spätitz ist das entscheidende äh, Teil in dem Spiel. Ja. Ja? Wir müssen mit vollem Beinspeed darauf gehen. Nichts Wildes machen. Er muss nicht hart sein. Er muss nur irgendwie fallen. Ihr könnt auch. Wenn ich dann rechte Schulter habe, The advice there one, from Mikhail Fuchs one, was that they the bias. had to really give it everything, attack the returns. I'm guessing the return of serves there, Morton. Yeah, it's, uh, he wants them to concentrate on the first three shots, as what we normally yeah. say. 
add on the pressure, see if they can really unsettle the combination from India. And, and again, hopefully some loose chances are coming from that and then go Second full game. blast. Yeah. Michael Fuchs, Play. the Swiss coach, actually sat in the commentary box with me once. Yeah, I'm sure he did. Yeah. He speaks very good English as well. Yeah. I suppose the most famous Swiss badminton player, Lisa Lotte Blumer, Blumer. Yeah. European champion, 1980. 1980. Yeah. She beat... Uh, who did she beat in the final? She beat uh, Van Busekom from Holland, but whether that was in the semi-final. No, Van Busekom yeah. didn't reach the semi-final. Was it the quarters then? In the final, she beat Annette Borgström. Yeah, from Sweden. Yeah. Semi final, Lena Axelsson from Sweden. Yeah, from Sweden, yes. Jane Webster was the other semi finalist that year. Okay, from England, yeah. But I remember that. Uh, Jorka from Bursikon was uh, one of the favourites to win and when she lost to this lot Bloomer she got very upset, I remember. I think she kicked a door in the ladies' locker room, she broke did. her toe and then she couldn't did. play the women's doubles. She did. I didn't <laughs> want to mention that, but now you did it, so OK, OK. <laughs> Is Lisa Lotte Bloomer involved with the Swiss I don't uh, federation, know. because I have to say the Swiss Federation have done a wonderful job here. They have, but Jorke van Busekom is still living in Denmark and uh, sometimes she's, uh, you know, we are exchanging a few lines now and again, so she's doing well. So this is the first challenge of this match and we we'll await once again for Hawkeye. And Van Busekom was playing women's doubles with Marian Ridder. That's right. Yep. Good Dutch combination. Well, you mentioned the good Dutch combination, and as we're at the World Championships, we ought to mention that they were silver medalists in the first yeah, ever 77. World Championships yeah. in Malmö. Oh, plum on the line. Copious notes taken by Michael Fuchs. Oh! Yeah, that's a good... That's a fine example of it. That's exactly what he wants them to do. Yeah. Oh, oh, here it came again. Fault. Yeah. Service Not the tallest of athletes, five, but he's very tricky, three. his Arjun. But at least it wasn't the same player falling for the same shot. <laughs> There's two different ones. Challenge here now. Yeah, I Tobias think it's out. Kenzie the Charles Swiss pair. Called out. So let's see if the theory holds water that it's so tough to challenge on the back line. 
Line judge, wipe the court. I think it was they wanted to challenge more than anything because the line judge was a little bit slow to make the call. Yeah, but he was watching it all the way. I was actually looking at him as uh, the shuttle was dropping, and I, I think he's pretty sure that that one is out. But let's see. Must be a glitch in the Hawkeye system at the moment because normally they're very, very sharp on these line calls. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. Caught yeah. the line. What a great challenge. Caught it by a whisker. From the back is very, very effective. There must be a beautiful disguise to it because it happened on a number of occasions and it's almost a winner every single time. Fault. I think he was Service watching his over. opponents there rather than Seven. watching the shuttle. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't see on that shot there. On the third shot. Wait. It's absurd out of a turn. Tobias is receiving. So were they in the wrong formation? Uh, the last pro rally? Proper, yeah, probably uh, yeah. previously, yes. Yeah, that's a good smash from Schlock. Eight, six. Nine, six. Yeah, it was quick yeah. on to that flick yeah. serve. Well read, because that flick serve has been coming so many times now that they must see it now, they must be alert, because it's Arjun on many occasions serving that one. So that's good alertness. And good spatial Eight, awareness nine. and awareness of where opponents were from Charlotte. Good counter attacking shot there. A great risk, a great risk to go across court. Should he have gone cross court, he should have been all the way out to the sideline. Service over. 10 9. So to the mid game in Nine and, and interval with the advantage, a two point advantage. Good interception right the there by Arjun. Can't argue, he's the best player on court of the four players. He's really been very steady and very creative. Pradnia Gardari. It's really good to see one, here so many female seconds. coaches in Court India. One, yeah. 20 seconds. Yeah, there are lots of uh, female coaches, coaches in India as well. Your chairs. My judge, thank you. And on 
the adjacent court, I can tell you that uh, Judith Mullendijk is uh, the coach of uh, Sabrina. Just to emphasize on the facts of uh, female play. coaches. Yeah, absolutely, no. Fault. Oh, a fault was Twelve, called. nine. Was that a double hit? Uh, perhaps uh, hit the body, I think. Oh, OK. Let's have a look. Oh, no, no. oh it was it double, deemed a... Yeah, double hit. Yeah. No argument from the players, they obviously agree. Definitely settling in nicely, the players now. Good attacking rally here by the Swiss combination. Yeah, well finished off from Charlotte. A super defensive shot earlier on in that Service rally from Sharla. Drive defence. They don't hang about these two pairs, do they? No, it's really fast and furious. Yeah. It's nice. It's good to see. No real time wasting in between rallies. No. Lots of action. 14 12. Rally. He's done it again, that he tricky did. little... And that's oh, way in. Oh, the fans getting very, very excited. Now, indeed, it was the longest rally at 34 shots. 14. Oh. No, in that terms, that wasn't nice. even close. <laughs> it was a mile <laughs> Bias is serving. Seems both pairs have yeah, were quite got confused. Out of, got out of their formation. <laughs> 
16, well left 14. from Arjun. Oh, that's very, very well taken. Yeah, 17, it's calmly played. 14. The block shot, even though the opponent is standing there, the net Arjun is still playing the block shot and then waiting and intercepting. That's nicely played. Very calm. Quick points, having got the crowd all excited, the Swiss pair by catching back up to 14 all. All of a sudden, they're four points adrift again. Oh, string's gone. Yeah. Good oh. guess. Very good guess by Archer. <laughs> <laughs> Very good guess in the defence. Had to make a choice. Three times, third time <laughs> went into the <laughs> net. <laughs> the first two was really good pressure shots. The last time was just too tight. Yeah, got his opponent under pressure with the first two. That's when he should have varied it. Yes, there's where oh. the big smash should have come. Yeah. But they do have massive support here in the stadium. They do, it's great. <laughs> yes. Absolutely great. Now was under pressure was Kunzi. Service over. And it's well earned match points 20, now for match Arjun point and 16. That was a good block shot there by Arjun. He really guided it nicely into that open space. Yeah, and a nice way for the Indian pair to finish off this match against the wild card entry. 32 minutes in total. And 21-14, 21-16 to Arjun and Schlock. But what a great experience for the Swiss players with their wild card entry. And they played well. They did. As and when they got into it, I think they did uh, themselves and Switzerland proud. Uh, there is confirmation of the score. 21-14, 21-16 in 32 minutes. So as they take leave of centre stage, their efforts appreciated by the home fans and that's lovely to see it means that our coverage for today we have no more matches but we did have that extra bonus match which was rather nice wasn't it to see the home players but play started this morning at nine o'clock and it was young and somerville 
who won a three-game battle against Draymond and Demolva of Russia. And then it was the silver medalist from the 2016 World Junior Championships, Pompawi Chochowong of Thailand, that got the battle batter of Rachel Honderich of Canada. Then it was men's singles, and it was the seven-time finalist, the four-time, five-time former champion playing in his 12th World Championships. I can't help but think whether we'll ever see Lin Dan in the World Championships again. Beaten by Pranoy in three games, 21-7 in that deciding game. Then it was men's doubles and the 2016 All England champions, Ivanov and Sozanov, winning through against Arif and Arizin. Then it was mixed doubles and the new pairing of Tarbelin and Peak coming through in two straight games against Ronald and Salfika. And then it was the defending champion in the men's singles, the left-handed Kento Momota coming through. No real problems for him, two easy games against the Spaniards. Sai Pranith, the number 16 seed, had uh, quite a battle, uh, just uh, three minutes shy of the hour mark in his victory over Lee Dong Kyong. Then it was mixed doubles and the defending champions, Cheng Shi Wei and Wang Ya Xiong, pushed the full distance by Lansfus and Hertrick, the German pair, doing so well, having been beaten in just 10 minutes, the opening game, 21-10. Uh, but uh, the Chinese pair coming back strongly in the decider. Then we were supposed to have uh, women's doubles and uh, that never happened. Ponapa and Siki already getting a walkover. So we went on to a women's singles and we saw the first of two upsets because Wu Ti Trang beat the number 15 seed Alina Kiesfeld in an hour and three minutes. And then we had the biggest shock of the tournament so far. Yo Jia Min, the 20-year-old from Singapore, put out the world number one and the bronze medalist from last year, Kane Yamaguchi. We were convinced Yamaguchi was uh, struggling physically with what we've heard to be a back injury, but nonetheless, what a wonderful performance by the young Singaporean. After that, it was men's singles and Jonathan Christie, the Asian Games gold medalist, recorded his first ever victory over her Kwang He in their fourth meeting. And our bonus match, our 12th match of the day, Arjun and Schrock coming through against the Swiss wildcard pair in 32 minutes. So that's it from for us for today. More second round action tomorrow, same time as today. That's 9 a.m. local time, 0700 GMT. From all of us here, from Morton Frost and myself, Jill Clark, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.